So we'll start with in for two, so one continuous breath in for two and out for four. Okay? Ready? Three, two, one. Resting the hands in the lap, either face up or face down, if you like. Sometimes, if you have, uh, you don't know, so if you have two <laughs> pinky fingers like holding or any of the fingers held together, very light touching increases concentration, so it's something to focus on. So, if you gently close your eyes and you can just focus on the touch. Whoever <laughs> booked this room, I'd like to have a very quiet and very Wait, friendly no, discussion no, outside. <laughs> <laughs> come sit down. A bit. This isn't even a documentary bit. I've had enough. <laughs> I come and sit down. I'm no. actually kind of pissed off. Oh. We went through the smelliest fucking hallway you've ever experienced in You're your so life. You're so nasty. Someone on the other side of it. Oh. 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 Really? It must yeah. be the fucking sports science hallway, I swear to God, because <laughs> fucking <laughs> the BO in that room is the oh, most sorry. disgraceful <laughs> thing I've ever seen in my life. about this cast to be honest that we ended up casting almost everyone um, who came to auditions not much choice to be honest with there were a ton of characters in this place so we really were struggling um, we have like one or two good actors and the rest were just filling in this is pretty good yeah wasn't expecting it yeah it, was, it came as a bit of a surprise you know you know two of us graduates Losers. Yeah. And got the, you know, biggest biggest parts in the play. Well, I, 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 yeah. well I think I got the biggest part. Yeah. Whereas Uncle what? Pino. Oh, uh, yeah. Uncle Pino. Satan. Yeah, you, you just got a little minor part. Yeah. But it's, it's been a lot of fun, the rehearsals. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like we're both getting into character a bit more. Yeah. What, who's your guy again? Satan. Uh, I got Judge Littlefield. Um, I'm happy about it, but also, you know, it doesn't have enough lines. I'm literally the judge of this entire play, and I just don't talk enough, in my opinion. Your client is Judas Iscariot. Your client sold out the Son of God for Christ's sake. Your Honor, that has no bearing. Cutting him. Judas Iscariot committed the one unforgivable sin. Everybody knows it. The sin of despair. And then he did the world a favor and hung himself from an olive branch. The cowards. Next case. Hi. Hi. So I got cast as Mary Magdalene, the childless prostitute, which I think is actually quite offensive to me, but I'll do it anyway. And I got a nun as well, so. I mean, you got Jesus, so... Yeah, fits the bill, really. Yeah. Quite happy with him. Good for some people. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I feel quite uh, attached to the character. He seems um, seems like a stand-up fella. Yeah, but he's only in it at the end. Yeah, but he's, he's the most important part. Every character speaks about him. I mean, he's yeah. on everyone's mind. So I, I think he'll be an interesting guy to play. I'm playing Judas uh, Iscariot, uh, the title character of the play, and uh, I get to do it with... Uh, I get to have a few scenes with like, people, really talented actors, like, like Teddy, so. <laughs> just leave him away, I just need my <laughs> Sorry, sorry. Uh, yeah, in the first few days of rehearsal, it was, it was really good. I wasn't too sure how to best portray Judas. I don't have a lot of experience being a traitor, but I feel like when I'm acting, I'm best when I get to observe uh, activities like that and luckily right around us there's there's tons of traitorous people going on so like the directors especially it's been a really good place to look and, and just watch them. Right, yeah, right, I'm sorry give us one second, Ailey's just being really weird. <laughs> ah, my biscuits! I didn't touch your biscuits. You must have put them there okay? Well I didn't so it was like you're the house elves. Oh, it's been about it's been about hectic there, they've been betraying each other, so that's been a really good source to, to draw on. I mean, did you see the way that they were I think Ailey even No, Phoebe had 
like food for just actually no reason. So that was quite an activity to watch. Yeah, you know, we've got house elves with the way to go with it. Yeah. Hey, Petra, would you like a hobnob? <laughs> right, let's get on with the scene. Mm. Oh no! I kind of joined on a on a whim. I found out about this thing five hours beforehand, and I thought it was it was fine at first, but like. Phoebe's like throwing pens at people and saying the knife is next and I just, uh, it's kind of a lot. Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, you'll have the TV, motherfucker! The knife is next! <laughs> at least you could have hit. But, yeah. yeah, mental health check-in, how are you? Um, I mean, kind of same boat. I've been in Scotland in general for like a month. I'm here for the semester. And they said, hey, you're overqualified. Do you want to be our backstage manager? And I said, sure. Have they told me what that involves in yet? No. I'm in rehearsal, obviously. Like, we're here. I haven't gotten anything to do yet. Very, very holy man. Defense counsel is a wag. She's a juicy. <laughs> Pultraditurous. Pult Polkrutudinous? Pol Polkrutudinous? Polkrutudinous. Polkrutudinous. Pol 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 Defense counsel is aware she's the juicy, sexy dish, and yet, I'm not saying that word, it's too hard. Um, oh, write it out, phonetically write it out. Oh, yeah, sure. Okay, wait, that's it, just like, leave it. Polkrutudinous. It basically means beautiful, so. Yeah. I know, but, it's, it, but I feel like it, it does add to Fumi's character all right, it okay. says all these, like, funky words. Okay. Write it out, pen, like, pen, pen. like that, so and then you, you'll remember. Polkrutudinous, right? Polkrutudinous. Polkrutudinous. Did you just know the word, Molly? Or yeah, Latin. Where oh, is he look at you. Oh, I am. Um, <laughs> I looked it up. They're going splendidly so far. A couple of hiccups along the way with some other people, but. Nothing that they can't smooth over. I'm sure that they'll get it right by the end. I've literally wrote at the end here, I wrote, Freud's getting more and more wound up, easy to bully. And I feel like that as he's getting more annoyed, you're getting more manic and excited and like really going in. And, and I feel like you're, and as it goes through, We are really like, turning this courtroom into a playground. Literally, and you're like, oh no, Freud, I offended you. Why oh no, what a shame. Oh, I mean, you slept, didn't I? <laughs> uh, they have opinions, and those opinions are taken into consideration at times. But overall, my word is better than theirs. Some people are really getting into it. It's a little bit weird. And they're treating me like shit. Like, you are the Jesus. Jesus. I am Jesus. Look at these holes in my hands for my entire life. I have to walk around. Freya, Freya. I can't do it anymore. Freya, Freya. Wait. You'd think going method, you'd be better at acting. That's not the case, but you know.